All right, now I use two layers of puffy paint. I know with a lot of Decoden phone cases, they just use one, but I like the multiple kind of three-dimensional look. You're gonna wanna lightly scuff up your entire case. None of it will be showing, so don't worry about the scratches. And then you're gonna start on your first layer, which mine is mustard. I'm going for a ketchup and mustardy theme from my edge here, so I really wanna make it look like it is spilled almost on top of my phone. And the top will be covered with my kind of whipped cream, my silicone, so I can just leave that. You're just gonna make this drip all over the edges. And then I just left mine to dry for a couple hours in the sun. Now it's time for my ketchup. I'm just gonna do the same thing. Of course, when you do this, you wanna avoid any of like the ports that you need to charge your phone or your headphone jack or anything like that. Now when you do your second layer, if you choose to do two layers like me, you're going to want to drip it over, but make sure you don't completely cover your first layer. Of course, you don't wanna hide your pretty little mustard spill, so kind of do it in the same pattern, just slightly different. And then you can just bring it up and kind of create a border around the edge of your phone, so that way when you pipe your quote-unquote whipped cream, you don't have to worry if any of your actual phone case shows. Once I left this out to dry in the sun for probably about an hour, it didn't take too long, I get my whipped cream ready. You're going to want to use 100% silicone. I chose white. Depends on the look you want to go for. Um, you can always color it with paint or food coloring, but I wanted the white. And then I just put it in a piping bag. Don't do this. Got all over me you're going to want to kind of pre-set up where you want everything, which I did. I took a photo after I saw what I liked and I'm ready to go. So work the silicone into your piping bag. You wanna get out any air bubbles so it doesn't kind of explode, so you kind of massage the bag and just kind of jostle it around and get rid of any possible air bubbles in there. And then you are going to start to pipe your phone. Um, I did kind of a border first and then just filled it in. It is very easy to fix like a mess up. If you don't like the pattern, you can just smear it down and just repipe over it.
Now it's very important that you took your picture of how you want your charms because once you place your charms in, if you take them out, it will obviously get rid of that kind of whipped cream or frosted texture that you had and of course you'll have silicone all over your charms. So as you can see I just keep, I gotta fix the, the sleep timer or whatever it is on my phone because it was so frustrating. <laughs> I pushed kind of some of my ends in because I liked the idea of some of them popping out in different directions. So it's very obviously three dimensional. So I didn't want it all flat on top, just laying down on the frosting. And once you're happy with the look, just let it dry overnight. is what you will get the next day. It's just a lot of fun. Um, I actually decided to make one for myself, which will be in a future video. It's the Cinnamon Toast Crunch one. But as you can see, everything is like super soft and jelly-like, and it's a lot of fun to make, and it clearly looks really cool. So I hope you try it. All right, till next time.